What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Trailmakers Creations by That Dom Guy. Today we're going to be taking a look at a viewer request to use some of the raw engines, the big engines, in sequence so that they don't ever burn out. You don't need to ever let them cool down. So you, here I've got three of them in a row. One, two, three. There's also three in the main body. Three on this side as well. They're set to fire for 0.3 seconds each. And they cycle through all three. The 0.3 second delay as well. So are on each one. So there's a 0.6 second delay for all three. So each one fires for 0.3 seconds and it actually gives me enough power to get off the ground and they never burn out. They never get red hot and need to cool down. That eliminates the cool down time. As you can see, kind of a weird design here as well. We have our turning set to these servos here. We have our up and our down set on those servos as well. Up front we've also got some little cannons, some rotary cannons, mini cannons, out on some servos as well, on some helicopter engines. We've got some landing gear which will automatically pop up once those sensors no longer see the ground. So let's have a look-see. And our wings, as you can see, also have some hinges on them too, so let's go see what they do. So just spacebar you can hear the engines firing sequentially and you can see our wings have folded back so this is called the albatross just because it's a big it's fairly wide winged stable flyer not the most graceful looking thing on the ground, but once it gets into the air, whew, there you go. So there's a speed sensor on it that once it's going over 200 kilometers an hour, that's when your wings will automatically fold back, make you a little more agile. And it's fully landable as well. The gear should come out. We have enough stability. For to land on the carrier like that, no problem. Left shift is for our cannons. We have burst firing. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Didn't think we had enough room there. All right, let's try that again. So you can just hold space and it'll just naturally take off on its own without even hitting anything. You can see the landing gear folds up there next to the cockpit. So we have our mini cannons, burst fire. So this might be good for a dog fighting. But it is possible to set those dragon engines to alternating, or the raw engines to alternating raw thrusters, I should say. I've always found it difficult to actually use those because unless you need like, like just a sudden burst of speed, they're not really applicable. They don't really work. Uh... Oh, look at that. Enough power to get out of the water. Nice, nice. That was close. That was close. So, yep, that's the Albatross. I'll be uploading that to the shop as soon as I'm done here. Thanks for the suggestion. I enjoyed the build. All right, let's see what we got for you next. So our next build here that we're going to take a look at is, what does it look like? It doesn't really look like it like this. It looks like a squatting horse kind of thing, right? It is a horse. This is the war horse or the prancing pony, I guess you could call it. But uh, I've been working on this for a while, trying to get a realistic looking kind of horse movement, like a canter. It doesn't run, it doesn't walk slow, just kind of canters along. So we've got all kinds of suspension, we've got stabilizers, we've got servos and pistons, we've got suspension for feet. As you can see, it's got fire on the tail and fire on the mane, so it's a fire mirror, believe it or not. It doesn't fly. I know most things that I make fly that shouldn't fly, but this one does not fly. I'm just happy, quite happy that it actually does what it does. So let's take a look. We'll get in. We can see super simple controls. 
W, D, and A. So it will push forward. And this is, oh. <laughs> horsepower, there you go. We got some horsepower. Push that thing, push that thing. So we can't actually turn. You can see the head turns. It, it is using a helicopter engine for steering because trying to get the the hinges to do what I want them to do is a totally different story. So those are the only controls, really, are the uh, W, A, and D. So we can steer, we can go forwards. And that's about all he really does. Again, I just recently added those mini thrusters to the bottom there. Because he does walk without them. But he's not bionic because he's got servos, helicopter engines for stabilizers. But he's just a little bit faster with those mini thrusters. So let's let's pop those mini thrusters off for a second. I'll let you see what he looks like when he's walking without any kind of forward propulsion whatsoever. So this is the pony without any mini thrusters on his belly. So as you can see, he does walk, but super slow. Nowhere near as quick as I'd like him to move. A little bit quicker for the, the motion of the legs. But he does have a nice little canter to him. It's so hard to find something that actually has traction on the ground that doesn't just smash as soon as you put it on there. I mean, you could put wheels on there for traction, but then your horse has got wheels on his feet. It doesn't really look like a horse anymore. So as you can see, he kind of wants to walk. Having a hard time getting traction on the ground, though. So putting those mini thrusters on there actually gives him a little bit more forward action. Makes him actually move the way he's supposed to. So yeah, with the thrusters, he definitely has a little more oomph. And he actually moves forward which is always good in a horse. So yeah, that was really fun to build. Again, you can see his head kind of bobs a little bit as well. The counter, the tail goes back and forth. To counter the movement, the hips actually rotate a bit. And he looks pretty horses. Looks pretty scaled too as well for the, yeah, settle down. It's getting a little rowdy. Settle down there, pony. And I was going to say, an almost scale to the size of the character as well, right? Which is kind of cool. And he just shrinks down, so you can get off nice and easy. Good job. Good job, Pony. Alright, let's see what else we got for you. So recently, you've probably seen the video where Scrapman showed in his best build video, he showed an Iron Man suit. Can't remember who it was built by. Uh... But it was a really good looking Iron Man suit. It had some loose hinges and stuff like that that had weak strength on them, so it moved around kind of naturally and flew around. Uh, it looked really good as well. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna try and build an Iron Man suit as well, except I'm not I'm not Dom Man, I'm Dom Guy. So we want this to be not the Iron Man, we want this to be the Iron Guy. This is gonna be the Iron Guy suit. So this is what I built. It took me a while to build it, try and get everything right so it actually flies and moves and looks the way I wanted it to. As you can see, he's just antsy. He's ready to go. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So all kinds of thrusters, uh, balancing sensors. You can see a lot of speed sensors for facing forward, backwards, controlling rotation, drift, all that kind of fun stuff. Lots of cool parts on here. He does have some gimbals on his feet. Those are for bringing it down to the ground. I find gimbals actually work the best for straight down action if you just set the speed to negative one. And you can see he's got rotations here. He's got uh, he's got some fins on the back as well for stability. Just a lot going on. The seat is down here in the crotch. We can jump in. He is armed. He does have weapons. We can hit number one. His cannons fold out and automatically start firing. And yes, they're firing down at the ground, but that's just because he's standing on the ground. Once we get into the air, space bar will lift us straight up. And as you can see, he stays in the air just fine. Let's put those guns away. They're kind of loud. Wow, the thrusters are kind of loud too. So as you can see, he hovers in the air just fine. Space bar makes you go up. And we got some flames coming out of the feet as well. So not a lot of controls on this. We have WASD, number one, left shift, and space. So as you can see, he's correcting himself. 
So W lets us fly forward. Turning A and B, you just need to tap, and you can see that his feet actually move. You want to do tighter cornering. So flying forward like this, you can hit spacebar if you want altitude to go up. Pulling back cause them to slow down, stop in place, or you can just let go and he'll stabilize himself. Then we can start flying again. And again, left shift is our gimbals that'll bring us down. So the steering with this guy is usually just tap steering with the A and the D. Get that little bit of twist, a little bit of turn. Let's see if we can fly through this ring of fire here with the iron guy suit. Whoa! Oh, 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 settle down, settle down. Again, not unlike the real art. Oh! And he's not aquatic. Man, my suit be at the bottom of the drink, man. Okay, back to the carrier. Yeah, I can get a little, uh, because it is top heavy, you can get a little uh, sideways if he, once he starts getting to weird angles. Which is why you want to steer. Just tap with your steering, that way he doesn't get too discombobulated. So he starts spinning out of control. Once we spin like this, you can see a lot of the times he'll stop himself from spinning. But it's the rocking back and forth like this that gets him. So that's where using some forward motion and the space bar. So once he gets sideways, he just goes totally limp noodle. Not a lot you could do that. Or I could keep on adding things to him, I guess, but that's just going to make him way too big. He's just fine the way he is, just need to use some skills for piloting the Iron Guy suit. So when we're in the air like this is when you can hit your number one for your cannons. No fold out, you can strafe. Uh oh, uh oh. Come on. And strafe guys on the ground. Oh, 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 that was close. Did we hit that? Oh, it doesn't matter because we went in the drink. So it's like learning how to use the original Iron Man suit. It doesn't fly for you. You do, you do have to fly it a bit. But it is totally, totally doable once you get the feel for the control of it. Again, your cannons can be for dogfighting once you're in the air. So if there's somebody up there that you want to shoot, again, you can just fly forward. You can strafe guys on the ground. You could probably put some cannons, like explosive cannons on them. I was thinking about putting one in the middle of his chest. But no room. So holding left shift as well brings us down. So we can try and slow ourselves down here. Once you can, once you can stop your forward motion. Oh, 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 okay, let's turn the guns off. You can actually land them. And he's just ready to go. Come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So that is the Iron Guy suit. And of course, when I jump out, it's going to take one of his legs off. So we'll just rebuild him. That will be being in there. sideways. Come on. Straighten yourself out, buddy. Straighten yourself up. <laughs> so yeah, the Iron Guy suit. That was really fun. He's fun to fly around in. It'd be fun to have a couple of races find a course through here where you have to fly through a couple of rings and then maybe through the loop and then like underneath the uh, one of the catapults or 
try and fly through one of those uh, basketball hoops. That'd be a good challenge as well. So that's all I've got for you this time, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Always love reading your comments. And any suggestions you have for anything else that I can try and build. Uh, I am working on a wiggle video on a how-to to, uh, for any of you out there that want to know how to build like the shark that was in one of the last videos or uh, things like snakes or the flying serpentine. That was a good one as well. So I'll be making a how-to video on how to do the timing and the sequencing with the hinges for that. That'll be coming up shortly, so hit subscribe and that notification bell. Hope everyone's doing well, and we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.